hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello. Hello. All right, so, Arknights. But yes, if you've been following my Twitter, but yeah, I was feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit unwell yesterday. I'm still feeling a little bit unwell today, but I'm feeling less unwell. So we're going to proceed. But yes, probably today's stream is going to be a bit short, and all of that. Let's see, not a whole, whole lot else to be said. But yes, I was originally planning on streaming Saturday as well. I think, as of right now, I'm still planning on that, but we will see. If I'm still not feeling great, probably I will take that day off. But yes, other than that, not much else to be said. The Saturday stream, should it happen, will be Arknights, is the plan. But yes, today's stream is also Arknights, I already said that. So, let's see. Not much else to be said, I suppose. So yes, next week, hopefully, we should be back to normal. It's kind of only 50-50 that things end up normal, so maybe it's not that normal, but... Ideally, things will go as planned. That's about the best you can hope for sometimes. Honestly, that's better than you can really hope for in a lot of cases, because the plans are a little bit silly that way. You make a plan to do a thing before you do the thing, but before you do the thing is when you know the least about the thing that you're doing. So, plans must change. They must grow and they must adapt, or else you will be left operating with the least information you could have possibly had about the thing that you're doing. Anyway. Video games. Nope. Okay, hold on. Alright, let me actually get the video game up because I uh, forgot to get things set up properly. I guess maybe I'm not as well as I thought I was. <laughs> I should be fine to stream, though. Yeah, a little bit of a sore throat. Yeah, nothing else that is uh, notable to me. Bum, 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 bum. There we are. But yeah. So, like I said, probably going to be a bit of a short stream. Probably going to go a little bit lighter on the voices than I might otherwise be inclined to. But yeah, I've adjusted my sound settings a little bit. I've noticed that it's quieter than I have liked it in recent VODs, and so I've been gradually bumping it up, so hopefully this should be more to everyone's liking. But yes, anyway, so last time around, we encountered a new uh, reunion leader by the name of Frost Nova, and now it seems we are going to be confronting her. All right, don't have any enemy info. I meant to click on the map screen. So yes, we've got an interesting little layout here, and this whole thing is a little bit concerning. But yes, I don't know what Frost Nova does, but I speculate from the name that she maybe has some cold-related abilities. But yeah, we had a lot of trouble with our last reunion ringleader, that being Skull Shatterer. So, we will see. We've also learned to be a little bit more adaptable with our tactics as well, so maybe we won't be stuck for quite so long. I suppose we weren't stuck for that long on Skull Shatterer. But yes. So we're going to have a few spots where Frost Nova will stop. I feel like Frost Nova probably is going to have some sort of ranged attack. So that's worth thinking about. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with that information, but I suppose, again, we will figure things out as they happen. One way or the other, though. But yes. Let us get underway. The temperature is dropping too sharply. There's ice forming on the ground. It's so cold. Unbelievable. 
Even the burning effigy was frozen over. The flames were put out. Dark clouds have covered the sky. Ah! Uh. Don't panic. Jessica, black steel operator. Y yes. Stay in position. Roger. What are you doing, Frostleaf? She's draining all the heat from her surroundings. I never knew she was able to affect such a wide area. Huh. Master of the Yetis. I've never met anyone with a lower body temperature than mine. Frostleaf? Meteorite, to be honest, I wanted to distract her and buy some time for you. You. But my body is completely frozen. I can't move my feet anymore. Rossleaf! Amia, take them with you and fight your way out of here. In less than a minute, the enemy commander will have frozen this entire square. Don't make me die for nothing. Amia, we can't. I won't leave her. I understand. I won't leave Frostleaf behind. I will not leave anyone behind. I'll hold off the enemy squad's movements. Meteorite, I'm counting on you to bring Frostleaf back. Roger. Doctor, please lead our squads. Of course, of course. Now that I think about it, I've only used these arts once before. Wherever there's blood. Ah. So, you want to use your ice to counter mine? How will you do that if you can't even use your tongue anymore? You. Yeti Squadron, spread out. Roger. My brethren, flush them out and freeze their blood. Understood. Your mind can hide nothing from me. An incantation? The rabbit of Rhodes Island. Black lines? What is that? What kind of arts is that? Wait, why is that thing warming past our barriers? Don't... Ah! My body, it's on fire. It's burning. Meteorite. I know. Please, keep distracting them. N uh, no, this is so cold. Uh, it hurts so much. Yeah, no, no more. Hurry, don't let them hurt our comrades any further. Understood. Your originium arts are very formidable. Curse you. Get away from me. I won't give you a chance to use your arts, girl. Now, close your eyes and sleep. I'll put you out of your misery soon. This witch. I take it that you are Amia? <laughs> I like the look in your eyes. That is how a warrior should look. I'm sorry. Why are you... <gasps> What's going on here? It's snowing? Leave my children. Sleep. Hedgehog dolls and teddy bears. This strange melody. She's casting her arts. Sink quietly into black. 
my broken puppets and dolls. Even more shards of black ice are appearing out of thin air. The ice shards are slowly falling onto the ground. Shoot, the ground is freezing wherever the shards fall? The black ice. It's spreading? The ice crystals are eroding everything around us. Don't let her finish her song. Indeed, we shall. Alright. So, let's see how this mission treats us. Listen, everyone. Stay so, Frost Nova, an extremely dangerous reunion squad leader who uses her potent ice arch to form a hostile environment on the battlefield. Hmm. Well? Let's see, how do we want to swing this? The protection objective here is a little bit concerning. I don't think I've seen enemies walk over these tunnel exits before. So I'm a little bit curious as to what it's doing here. Because I... yeah. I don't think, given what I know, or given what I've seen, that an enemy should be able to get into that area. I suppose maybe they will have flying enemies of some kind, something? Or maybe Frostleaf will, not Frostleaf, sorry, Frost Nova. Maybe Frost Nova will do something to perhaps freeze this over at some point. But uh, one way or another, My hammer's not so I suppose there's not much to be done but to deploy our first vanguard. And again, we will see how this whole situation shakes out. Tension is quite foreboding. Ah, hello TVP, good to see you again. Alright, okay, so yeah, Frostleaf is definitely doing something. Is this sealed floor? Oh, it doesn't tell me what that does. I think, oh dear. Well, I think I've uh, underestimated our foes already, so let me do something about that. Mm, I guess there's not much I can do. Um, I have to retreat Myrtle because we need more defense, and I probably shouldn't have done it so early. Alright. Nerves got me a little bit. So. Not doing great so far. <laughs> I won't be afraid. Yeah, so the sealed floor, I'm assuming we probably can't deploy units onto that. It does have HP, which I noticed. So presumably it can be damaged. All right. Might not be targeted as long as Frost Nova is within shooting range. Yes. Nope. Strict tile ban. Okay. So yeah, nothing to be done about it then. All right. So yes, this was not a great place to or way to deploy Jessica with that in mind, but oh well. First run. All right. I think we need a little bit more blocking on Cora for the moment. Oh dear. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. Well, I didn't think it'd be an instant kill. I'm fine. Get it together, everyone. So, I suppose that uh means we're going to need to consider things a little bit more, huh? I'm probably going to need to uh, pay attention to where she's using that ability. Hmm. Uh, everyone. So yes. It's, it's time to attack. <laughs> Is this how I'm supposed to give orders? Okay. So the furthest tile back. You need me to. Oh, Add black place ice. Uh, black ice form on it. Ready to heal. Up. At which time it became utterly in inhospitable. So that's no good. We saw a lot of enemies start to pile up at a certain point. So we're definitely going to need to do something about that. I don't know if I necessarily want to deploy a stell like that. I'll give you 
but again, we're sort of we're still figuring things out. Fire whistle maybe isn't the best option. This might be a little bit better, though. That being said, um, actually no, we can cover all of this round. Yes, with perfumer's efforts. Yeah, again, I don't like Pon Cyrus being this far back necessarily. I should maybe get out of the habit of deploying my vanguards as far backwards as I possibly can. Yeah, the issue here being with Pon Cyrus here, I'm not able to uh, take advantage of her defense. So yes, so we're probably going to want to start inflicting some damage on Frost Nova sooner rather than later. But when would be a good time remains to be seen. Okay, so the enemy is up on this... Okay, so yeah, they do... Okay. If I can get a word in edgewise. Yes, the enemies up on the top here are going to be pathing in such a way that leads them over this tunnel, if I read that right. I'll give you the best enemy cover tomorrow. And uh, I don't like that, but we'll deal with it, I suppose. Yeah, one thing I've definitely noticed is that we're getting a lot more... Okay, okay. That's fine. I should... I'm going to... Hmm. Unfortunate. So yes. So Frost Nova occasionally does a move that resembles her namesake and produces a very large explosion. Um, hmm. So. I don't like what's going on here. And I don't think we're going to be able to uh, make this. I think we've already lost, yeah. Um, hmm. I'll hold up the rear. Interesting, interesting. So yes, so, 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 so. Given circumstances, we're probably going to want to... How are we going to want to do this? So, doing some damage to Frost Nova while she's in her various spots that she stops would probably be good. I don't know what circumstances she does her Frost Nova under. Um, let's see. Caster who is one of Reunion Squad leaders. She is one of the few casters capable of suppressing enemies in a head-on engagement. Among the squads she leads, the Special Yeti Squadron assists her in some special operations. As her name implies, she has a cold personality. So, frequently attacks allied units within range with Ice Nova, dealing heavy arts damage and reducing the attack speed of affected units for a few seconds. And freeze the ground with arts, rendering them unable to be deployed upon. Revives after dying for the first time, gaining increased attack. Well, I don't like that. She has a number of resistances, most notably she is immune to Frozen, I suppose that makes some sense. So, just as a quick sort of few thoughts, yeah, the lower path seemed to have more units who were had high defenses, so it's probably good to place a unit there that has arch damage. Yeah, other other enemy units seem to be seem as though they're going to just go in a straight line towards the protection objective. Yes, not being stopped by yeah, not being stopped by the stairs as I was less hoping and or less speculating and more kind of hoping, I suppose. But oh well. That's it. Luckily, we have gotten a little bit better about slip, uh, splitting up our forces. Though perhaps I didn't do quite as good of a job there as I might have liked. We will do it again. Oh. Yeah, knowing precisely what tiles can and can't be deployed upon throughout the entire mission will be useful to a certain degree. 
But yes, I do want damage on Frost Nova what as soon as possible. Will it end up being? I wonder. I'm a little bit not one step backward. Not so sure about <laughs> you know the whole thing basically, but um. The tricky thing about this is, yeah, placing her far enough back. But of course, if I place her too far back, then we get to a point where, yeah, she will have an enemy. She won't be able to use her abilities properly because she's going to be blocking. With that in mind, we could place Estelle there, but then we run into the issue where, yeah, if we place Estelle there, then we run into the issue of... Okay, Frost Nova has taken a decent amount of damage so far. Oh, okay, I missed... <laughs> mm. Alright, I've missed the good opportunity because I wasn't... I didn't remember quite what tile that she stopped on. But yes, having some damage on this lower level is going to be necessary because we want the damage from... Yeah, we want the damage from Fire Whistle. We don't want her to get caught up blocking units, because while she's doing so, she's more or less useless as far as we're concerned. But yes, we don't seem to have really high numbers of units on the top side. So that might not be the most ideal place to put our high block defender here. I'm very worried about what's going to happen next time Frostleaf comes into existence, but uh, again, we will cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm right here, Doctor. Are you afraid of me? Oh, okay. We definitely need more damage. We need more damage by Quora because Quora isn't able to take out these units as fast as I would like. Yes, Frost Nova is very worrying to me right now, but she's not being that much of a problem currently. So yes, Aura not being able to attack is not an issue right now, basically. Yeah, Frost Nova doesn't produce a whole lot of DPS, it would seem. So that's not a huge concern with her. The big concern, well... Alright, the big concern seems to be when she does her, uh, burst damage. So yeah, so again, it's very different from the issue that we had when we were facing, uh, Skull Shatterer. Yes, the bottom side is starting to get a little bit messy. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna lose our medic there. Um, hmm. And we've not really made much headway on Frost Nova, which is a problem. Of course, I know why, but yeah. Um, so yes, what can we do? I suppose we can do a little bit more damage. Because yes, one thing about Frost Nova is that she's not... Yeah, she's not able to attack in quite the same way that, uh, or she's not able to get past, oh dear, well, alright, so, the situation is rapidly de degenerating, and I don't like that. Hmm. It doesn't seem like it's gonna get... Well, I was going to say it doesn't seem like it's going to get that much worse. It's probably going to get worse. But yeah, we definitely needed to put more damage on her sooner. That would have been very much for the best. But we're doing okay with what we have right now. If I place Hibiscus there, she'll be out of range of... I guess, yeah, I can't place her anywhere that is within range yes. of her humor's healing. She'll get the passive healing, but no active healing. Okay, we have lost our soul defense on that lane. Um, Bruce, uh, 
yeah, is no longer able to help us too much. It actually probably would have been best to leave her there. Because, yeah, Myrtle doesn't have much block on her. Hardly any block on her. Um, all right, she's just gone down. If I had another medic, that wouldn't have been as big of a deal. Okay, so now we only have Frost Nova, Frost Nova to deal with. I feel like I've been saying Frost Nova a lot. Um... There we go. Hmm. Okay, nobody died that time, so that's good. Ross Nova is now in a place that I don't like because back. I can't place anyone in such a way that they can damage her and be healed. So yes, so the entire middle lane does uh, die eventually one way or the other um, okay so she's definitely going to start causing problems for us before too long Yeah, and especially so since... Okay, yeah, we've just lost a lot of ground. Jessica... I imagine... Nope. Alright, the ice is a bit of a problem for me. Um, I feel like Jessica is probably... Or, yeah, Jessica can't damage from where she was, but that wasn't what I was meaning to say. But yeah, I feel like Amia is probably not the best choice, because I imagine Frost Nova seems like the type of person who's resistant to arch damage on account of being a caster. So, she does have increased attack now, which is very bad, because our most recently deployed units are the ones who are most vulnerable. Of course, she's going to start being blocked soon. Oh dear. She's going to start being blocked soon, which will mean that it's not that bad, but it's not great either. Let's burn him up. I suppose it's, in a way, appropriate, perhaps, that uh, Frostleaf was the target of her ire there. Okay, we're going to lose uh, Pon Cyrus, which I really don't like. Um... So, Frostleaf is now our last line of defense. Hmm. Your orders, please. Fire Whistle can't do anything from where she's standing. So it might be best to swap her out, though I'm not sure yes. what on, would be up. a good idea to swap her Don't out with. Heal that wound in no time. I think we've got enough healing to outlast her damage. Well... We did, for a while. Um, Your orders. Extend my edge. We're probably going to survive this. It's a little bit messy, and I don't like what's going on here, but I think we're going to live through it. But yeah, pretty much the entire middle row and the upper edge of the bottom row both get frozen over. We did win, I guess, so, you know, I can't complain too much. <laughs> Meteorite, we've managed to push the Yeti Squadron back. But... I seem to have underestimated you, Rhodes Island. Perhaps I held back a bit too much. I can't feel my fingers anymore. What's going on? Old Current is still gathering around her? This time, you won't be so lucky. <sighs> Oh no. Is she trying to absorb the all the ice surrounding us? And release it at once? It's going to drain all the heat from our bodies. These arts are on a completely different scale from what I saw from what we saw before. Let it all come to an end. May your anger be buried by purest frost. <sighs> Something is stopping the cold from gathering. <sighs> is this your doing? 
didn't I already tell you? I won't let you come any closer. Did you disrupt my cold current using your own art? What a good kid. Mossleaf used her blade to sever the cold current. But but she can't hold out hold out long in that condition. Her blade it's about to break. That's more than enough. This is our last chance. Amya, now is the time. Cover me. Be careful. Roger. Starting firing. Suppress Reunion's movements. Meteorite, go. On my way. What? The enemy is rushing towards us? No, she's... She's going straight towards Frost Nova. As if we'd let you. Fire. <laughs> ah. Meteorite. Don't worry, it wasn't a direct hit. She, she's still able to run? Ah. I told you, you'll never reach the Yetis. Keep firing, don't give her an opening. Sit. Oh, no. Gah. No. She she was hit. It, it can't be. It's just a scratch. You'll have to do better than that if you want to stop me. More. I need to do more. <laughs> the flow of the cold air. Fluctuated for a moment? Wait. Where's that flow coming from? I know this feeling. Could it be? I'll just have to give this a try. I have to hit it. Everyone, believe in me. Hmm? Rhodes Island's leader. She shattered the originum, originium we planted with her arts? It's getting hazy. I knew it. Ross Nova created that cold current by planting Origineum. Meteorite, now's your chance. Ross Leaf, I, I promise to save you. So, wait for me. Please, wait for me. Wake up. Mm -hmm. I've got you. Who? Up here, quick, hold on to me. Meteor... right? Who said that you could play the hero? Do you think I could just sit there and watch you die? Put me down. I'm not some pet. I won't let go of you. Amia! Jessica! Alright. Everyone, let's get out of here. Meteorite, go ahead with Frostly. I'll cover your retreat. Understood. Rossleaf, hang in there. Don't die. Don't you dare die on me. Don't worry. You can't get rid of me that easily. Jeez, both you and Amia too. Why do both of you have to be like this? No matter how strong you might be, you're both just kids after all. You're still treating me like a kid? I could save all of you by giving up my life. I think that's a pretty good deal you. Mark my words, if you ever try to do something like this again, you ever... I... <sighs> Sorry. Start running, meteorite. Don't look back. Sit. Hurry, just go. Evacuate this area immediately. Protect the medics and the injured. Snipers, aim at those effigies. Keep firing. Disrupt their formation, demolish the entire building to cover our escape. <coughs> the explosions are making the haze thicker. Here's our opening. Get moving! Everyone, we're retreating from this square. So, they got away. Oh 
long have you been watching? Just a few minutes. These warriors are worthy of praise. Be careful. Your body isn't in very good condition. I don't need you to remind me. Just do what you need to do, old timer. Very cool image, this. I'm going to go after Rhodes Island. We have to get rid of them first. Only then will we be able to go to Lung Men. Yeah. <sighs> We're almost at the escape point. Doctor, we... Amia, we've finally gotten through to the LGD. It's an emergency communication. Madam Chen? Listen up. Madam Chen, can you hear me clearly? Lung men. What's going on? I'm safe now, but Reunion took over one of our important facilities is now forcefully opening a passage between the slums and the outer city. Amia, Lung Men, is in danger. W managed to lure Lung Men in Rhodes Island right into our trap. That's right. They won't be able to escape. Alright, hold on. This is the voice I was doing for... Wait. Is this? Hold on. Oh, I've gotten Faust and Mephisto confused. Oh dear. I think this is the voice I was doing for Faust. Hmm. That's right. They won't be able to escape. Faust and Crown Slayer have already broken their defenses at one location. As you said, this will be our opening to Flood and to Lung Men. We will set up ambushes around every corner. The road to Lung Men will run red with fresh blood. Right. That old flag waver should be coming back to Chernabog soon. Our victory is assured. Do you have any other orders for me, Tallulah? The time is upon us. To turn this rotten city into ashes. We didn't lose anyone, did we? No? Marvelously, we did not. Man. Alright. So. I don't... Well, okay. We do have some time left. I suppose, you know. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Like I said, I did want to stream a little bit shorter than usual today, but I think I can make at least an hour. And I think we can do a little bit better there. So yes. So... Things went a little bit poorly there. I was keeping track as best I could. I was taking screenshots pretty regularly of where the tiles that Frostly or Frost Nova. I feel like I've been saying Frostly a lot instead of Frost Nova. But yes, I was taking note of what tiles Frost Nova freezes over. And yeah, given that it ended up being basically all of them that maybe wasn't necessary so but yeah definitely putting more damage on her earlier could help us a little bit but of course the big problem yeah the big problem is just the fact that at a certain point she becomes yeah at a certain point it becomes very hard to sort of counter play anything that's going on because yeah on the top layer especially because we can't place units up there early because they'll get nuked by frost nova and we don't want that but yes if we wait too long to deploy units in the sort of middle row though then we get into an issue where we're not going to have ample defenders to or we're not going to have I don't want to say Defenders, because Defender is a class of unit. And it might be a little bit confusing if I just say Defenders. But when I say, when I'm saying Defenders here, I mean, you know, units to be melee units. I should say melee units. But yes. 
If we don't deploy our units smartly, then up on the top, we're going to have the issue of not having enough melee units to be able to block and take out the units up top or the enemy units up top who will vex us. Yeah, one thing that was an issue there was, again, the fact that a lot of our more vulnerable units were ones that we deployed later later into the mission, so they were higher on Frost Nova's targeting priority. Of course, given that the a lot of the, the plan sort of revolves around having uh, Pon Cyrus, well, I guess the plan doesn't really revolve around Pon Cyrus, but Pon Cyrus herself suggests a plan of keeping her around for a while. Which means that naturally, since she's a vanguard, she would be deployed very early, and thus she would... Yeah, her toughness wouldn't be that good for us in resisting the advances of Frost Nova, because it means that, you know, she's not going to be targeted by Frost Nova. So, we need to sort of think about what we're doing here precisely. There's a part of me that wants to deploy a full operator on that lower section there, just to get Frost Nova into, or yeah, Frost Nova. I can guess myself when I said it right there. But yeah, deploy a pull operator down there to pull Frost Nova into a spot where she can be attacked sooner or where she can be blocked sooner. Because yes, being blocked doesn't prevent the Ice Nova but it does make it so she only will target whoever she is blocking with her normal attacks. Sip. But yes. We're not doing too bad in terms of... Yeah, we're not doing too bad in terms of uh, survivability. Our units are, you know, living. Our units are living. And we're not having big issues. I'm repeating myself a lot. <laughs> Circumlocution is something that you'll just have to... Uh, you'll have to uh, accept around here. But anyway. So, our units are surviving her attacks. They're surviving the Ice Novas, and they're surviving the normal attacks. The issue, though, is when the Ice Novas come out and then are sort of followed by normal attacks before we've had a chance to heal properly. So having healers who can heal faster would probably be good. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I wouldn't want to sacrifice too much. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sacrifice too much. What's the word I'm looking for? Too much potency in my healing. So I think having at least one single target medic is probably still for the best. We might want to switch out Perfumer for Telopsis. Yeah, so that we can make use of Enkephalin. But yes, what are some other things that we might want to consider? Again, we just need to... We need a little bit more damage a little bit sooner on the top area so that we don't have the issue of units piling up and being a bother for us. Of course, one option is we could use a... Uh, yeah, since we relied pretty heavily on... Or since we used maybe relied heavily on is not uh, the exact best way to phrase it. Since we used Fire Whistle on the bottom, mm, no, I think it's... Fire Whistle is fine where she was, and I think Korra was fine where she was, to be honest. What we would want to do, though... Estelle probably did okay. I think she was good for where she was deployed on the top. Um... Yeah, Frostleaf did well enough until she was uh, focused down. And I think, did she get frozen? Someone got frozen. That's it. But yes. A little bit more damage a little bit earlier, maybe. I think a little bit of AoE damage could be in order. So, I think we'll switch out to Meteorite. I can find her. There she is. Reporting for duty. All right. 
So, the squad's looking pretty okay. I don't know that I want Myrtle, necessarily. I guess it could go either way. We could use Myrtle or we could use Ponsiris. If we wanted to have a strategy where we switch Pawn Cyrus out at some point, or where we switch our Vanguard out at some point, which is probably for the best, given what we've seen. If we're going to want to switch our Vanguard out at some point, then, we probably going, then we're probably going to want to deploy Myrtle. Because again, Pawn Cyrus is best if she is allowed to stay on the field for a long time. And in a lot of maps, that's perfectly fine. On this map, it's maybe not the best. So, Ross Nova's resistance is quite high. I would assume it's probably not like, I would assume she probably doesn't have like, you know, 90% resistance or something. So it's probably not that high, but it is high certainly. Because my thought, my thought was maybe switching out to, maybe switching out to Aesthesia. So I don't know if that's necessarily a great option. Yeah, Aesthesia has resistance, but it's not that much resistance. That's a tricky thing with arts. I never really... It's a little bit hard for me to wrap my head around. Like, I know how it works. I know that resistance is just a straight percentage reduction in the amount of damage that you take. But it's, you know, it's... I don't know. I guess the main issue is just the fact that it does, the game doesn't strictly tell you how much resistance enemy units have. So I don't know, you know, if we look at Frost Nova, she has an A in resistance, but I don't know what that means necessarily. I don't know what that implies because I don't think the letter grades are strictly 100% like, you know, I don't think if a unit with, say, E resistance has zero resistance. Let me put that another way. I don't think every unit within a certain letter grade of a certain stat has the exact same stat, basically. That is how it works, as I understand it. They are a little bit different. Yeah, they can vary a little bit. And I don't know. Yeah. From what I've heard, it's not super consistent a lot of the time. But yeah, basically, I just sort of... The main reason that I hesitate in deploying Aesthesia is because I don't know that 10% less damage from Frost Nova's damage, or from Frost Nova's attacks, is going to benefit us that much, while I also don't know if A resistance, A in resistance for Frost Nova, implies that she has enough resistance to make Aesthesia be specifically a bad choice. That being said, of course, we don't have a lot of options for... Whoop. That being said, of course, we don't have a lot of options for melee units that have basically any resistance whatsoever. There are probably ways around that. Let's see, what do we, what do we have in terms of... Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, the best we can get on a guard is 10% currently. The best we can get on a defender is also 10%. I guess 10% isn't nothing. It's probably going to be, yeah, I don't know. I guess the nature of a percentage-based reduction is that the more damage you would take, the less damage you take, you know? So it's probably going to be best against the Novas. Hmm. I don't know. It's worth trying, I suppose. I don't know that it's going to be the choice, but it's going to be a choice. At the very least, Aesthesia has a lot more damage than Pawn Cyrus, so that's going to be that's going to count for something. I'm over here, Doctor. So yes, with Myrtle, we're definitely going to need to deploy another unit very soon because otherwise Myrtle is going to... She's not going to be sufficient to block things on her own. I think 
this should do just fine. And we'll see how this treats us. Stay focused. Look straight ahead. Of course, again, this does run into the issue where, yeah, we do. Well, it's the same issue that we were having. Um, where we need to be able to you will block right away. Okay. Because if we don't have a blocker behind Myrtle right away, that. then she is going to uh, not to hold up. Now. Okay, so Jessica right. can be deployed as such. This will allow us to put damage on Freeze. Frost Nova sooner and put the best damage that we can on her. Yes, on the... Actually, 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 now that I think about it, we're definitely going to want to... How did I have Perfumer positioned last time? I don't remember. But one way or another, I want to... Oh, dear. All right. Well, that was maybe the wrong choice there. I was going to say I want to deploy her... I should have retreated Jessica. That would have given me the, the deployment points I needed. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, so where did oh right I forgot that we switched out crews. Um, I don't know that this is going to be a good decision, but it's going to be a decision, so I suppose we might as well make it. This was a decent place to place, uh, if you will, to place Hibiscus last time, so I think it'll probably be okay this time too. I don't remember precisely where I placed Quora. But yes, we definitely need more damage sooner rather than later. So, as soon as we can get Estelle online, that would be good. So... Next, I think I want to deploy Meteorite, but the question is where? I suppose this out. is probably the best Doctor, choice, even as if it's maybe not a great I choice in see. absolute terms. Calm, yes, Quora will hold out a while longer. I don't know that her skill is going to be that valuable for her at this precise moment in time. Mm -hmm. We could maybe get one more support out of Myrtle. Okay, so there things have turned for us. Okay, so yeah, so I should have seen that coming and uh, acted accordingly, but I did not. So, I don't know how Jessica being here is going to... I maybe should have placed Jessica for further forward. Yeah, now she's out of range of healing and she's going to die. Which is unfortunate, but, you know, what can you do? Um, hmm. So, I don't like what's going on here. Yeah, this is definitely going a lot worse than it did last time. I think I probably had... Probably the issues that we had for a... Further forward last time. So yeah, we're going to have this roughly the same situation going into... Actually, we're going to have a worse situation now that I think about it. Because yeah, we are... Yeah, much, much worse off, actually. We can still probably turn this around. Hibiscus isn't dead, which is a surprise. Hmm. Did this? Is this? Hmm. Got it. I'm not sure if this, like, Fire. is rough, is like what happened last time, because if this doesn't feel familiar. I'm definitely, I'm very confident the scenario is slightly different from how it was last time. 
Yes, I need to block this unit or else we will lose. So, this is interesting. I had assumed that Frost Leaf would all or Frost Nova would always, you know, do the same things every time. And it seems that that's not the case. Hmm. Because, yeah, definitely Hibiscus died last time. Um, so this is, this is all very strange. So I suppose it must be... Hmm. How do we want to do this? Um... All right, we need to wait until Frostleaf is blocked, or Frost Nova is blocked, because otherwise we're not going to be able to deploy anyone else. They'll just get melted. Um, this one's for you. Yeah, more specifically, I was thinking about deploying Meteorite. I don't think that Frost Nova is being blocked just yet. Ready for action. Light of stars shall be my blade. Yes? Hmm. This is very odd. Well, I guess it's not odd, necessarily. It's just that, yeah, Frost Nova... Presumably what tile she freezes is not strictly deterministic, like I thought it was. That's sort of what I was trying to get at there. Hmm. Yes. I was thinking that it was strictly deterministic, like she would always freeze the same tiles. Like, it might take her a little bit longer, maybe, if she... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. I was thinking it might take her a little bit longer if it took her a little bit longer to reach a certain area, maybe, for some reason, you know? Or she might be able to be delayed by putting her into an attack animation or something. But I'm not precisely sure what happened there that stopped her from freezing over the tile that Hibiscus was on. Hmm. Could it be... Could it be that she only freezes... Yeah. I guess, now that I think about it, when we were fighting her earlier, she froze tiles primarily based on which ones were, like, near her. Like, she didn't freeze... Like, while she was here, for instance, she didn't freeze any tiles down here. And I'd assume that was just sort of because there was a certain pattern to it. Like, you know, she starts freezing up here, then she starts, you know, freezing down here, so on and so forth as she goes past. I was thinking that it was going to be just a matter of, yeah, her freezing tiles in a certain order, like, you know, these tiles get frozen first, then these, so on and so forth. But it does seem to be, yeah, her actual position does seem to be relevant to it, basically. So for instance, if somehow you manage to get her directly from here to here, down here, that might mean that she wouldn't be able to freeze a tile up there. Of course, I don't think you'd be able to do that within the game mechanics, but if you could, I don't think that would be useful also within the game mechanics, but you know. So, I think we'll give it one more try. I'll probably do a little bit more practice off stream, but, uh, but yeah, I don't think we're going to go, we're going to give it one more try on stream, and then I think I'm going to wrap things up a little. I might have wanted to think about what skills I had on my units, but uh, I suppose it's a little There's bit late no for that now. now. I'm here to help. There is indeed no turning back now. So, once again, we need Frostleaf sooner rather than later, I think. But yeah, Jessica. Ooh, almost Jessica, um, I don't know. Maybe we could take her or leave her. I'm not sure she really did that much where she was. Um, there are probably better choices that we could have made, I think. 
So yeah, Frost Nova stops somewhere in here. Um, Got a clear shot. Probably, ah, uh, yeah, we misjudged things again. Um, I'll show them what I can, do. can I, well, can I is not really a question, yes. Should I? Mm, almost certainly not. So yes, this went pretty bad, but it could be worse. So, at least we've got our medics in place now. I would have liked to have them in place a little bit earlier. Jessica is going to stop being useful very soon. Um, yeah, top side needs melee units. Blockers. Your orders. My bottom fluids aren't the only thing that's chilling. Yes. All right, Myrtle. Place Aura behind Estelle. And yeah, let's see. I don't quite like what's going on with Myrtle here. That was probably a bad choice because now we need yeah more blocking soon urgently. But it went pretty well, so I can't complain too much. Um, top side is taking a little bit more heat than I would strictly like. Hmm. Estelle is handling it pretty well. Unfortunately, we have lost Hibiscus because I... Yeah, things... Right, right, because yeah, since we didn't have Aura as far back as last time... Since we didn't have Pora as far back as last time. Hmm. <laughs> okay, anyway. Since we didn't have Pora as far back as we did last time, we then we have run into the issue where Hibiscus got targeted more than she did last time. Which uh, has had major a major impact on our strategy here. It's very good that Perfumer can heal multiple units at once. I don't know that this is a good place to put Jessica, but uh, we don't have a whole lot of other options. Perfumer definitely can't keep up all the healing that we need on her own, uh, but I guess it's we've just had the amount of units that she needs to heal drastically reduced, so... Well, drastically reduced. Reduced by one. I suppose Amia can start to contribute. Uh, we've just lost our, oh, our only defender up top. Mm. So, we're going to have a little bit of trouble. Especially since we've only got, we've got a unit that can only block one defending the top row. A row that has been, historically, uh, pretty hard for us to hold. Yes, even with much higher block units. Um, I don't know that... Definitely, okay. One thing I do know for sure is that yes. we picked a bad yeah. skill for Matoe Maru, I think. Because, yeah, we probably would have valued the heal a lot better. And I think we're going to lose, actually. Because, yeah, we can't block all these units, um, so yeah, we've lost. Interesting, yeah, interesting, though. Very interesting. Hmm. I maybe should have, yeah, I maybe should have screenshotted that configuration, too, because it was very interesting. Hmm. Well... Yeah, I did say I was gonna end, and I could keep going, but I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to push myself too much. But yes, when it is time to rest, it is time to rest, and when you're sick, you need to rest sooner than you would otherwise. So, let's wrap things up. So, thank you for joining us for more Arc Nights. Definitely, I don't know, I'm... I guess I can't complain too much. We did win. 
we did win, and it was only on our second attempt, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. So, you know, we didn't struggle too long. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for coming. Always happy to have some folks around. Yes. Anyway, um, where was I? Right. Yes. So we did, we didn't struggle for too long, which is sort of the, kind of what I was hoping for, to be honest. I wanted to have a challenge, but I didn't want to be stuck on levels for a long time. And that is what we achieved, basically. That is how things work. So, yeah, this being a puzzle for me to contemplate over the intervening time is perhaps a little treat for myself. I do like to problem solve. And I suppose, you know, it's not the end of the world if I don't come to a very satisfying conclusion. We can always just move on, I suppose. <clears throat> I might look into if there's any particular reward for getting a three-star clear on all of the uh, missions or anything like that. That might influence my decision, but again, probably a lot of this work I'll do off-stream. I do like playing Arknights, so any, any excuse to play more Arknights is probably pretty good for me. But yes, anyway, all that being said, it is time to wrap up. So, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, uh, yeah. If anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can find someone on my own. And in the meantime, I will take a sip. Sip. I feel like I've drank water without mentioning it before. Perhaps an odd thing to note, but perhaps it's also an odd thing to note every time you take a drink of water like I do. But yes, anyway. So. Also the schedule. So. Assuming I'm feeling better, like notably better, we'll be streaming again tomorrow, I think. Yeah, probably around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. But yes, depending on how much better I am feeling, it might still be a short stream like today's was. But yeah, ideally I would like to do that, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to push myself too hard, you know, there have been a lot of times where I've, you know, not taken a break when I probably should have and it's cost me. So I don't want to be forced to stop, you know, I don't want to be forced to stop at any point because they, I simply have nothing left to give. But yes, let's see. So tomorrow we'll see, depending on how well I'm feeling. And yeah, next week, hopefully, we should be back to, or we should be continuing the usual schedule, Wednesday and Friday, ideally, 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday, 9 p.m. on Friday. But yes, the Wednesday stream is always Arc Nights when it happens. Sometimes it gets delayed, sometimes it gets rescheduled, all that. But Wednesday stream is Arc Nights, and the Friday stream is hopefully, hopefully, we should be getting back to that collab. We will see, I suppose, but yeah. I have been, as of right now, I am currently believing that we will be, uh, the Coffee Talk collab with Sheppy Shep will be resuming this next Friday. But yeah, it has been a wild cir sequence of circumstances that has uh, prevented us from doing so. I'm a little bit, I'm always a little bit reluctant to bring it up because, yeah. A lot of things happen, you know, to make scheduling hard for us. Yeah, the main issue is just that our life schedules just kind of... It's very hard to get them to match up at this point in time, so... Yeah, there's only one day of the week, really, that we can make work, and even then it's kind of a compromise, so... Anyway, so... All of that being said, I'm not seeing any raid targets, so I think tonight we're going to go and visit Sroka, Sroka VTube, who is currently playing a video game by the name of Mecha Knight's Nightmare. I do like a good mech, so let's hope they've got some in Mecha Knight's Nightmare. Yes, Sroka VTube, bum, bum, bum. yes, a magpie VTuber. 
Oh, well, we've seen we've seen Stroke a fair amount. But it's been a little while since we've been over. So let us get this raid started. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so yes, thank you once again for being here. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.